everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva, and um, I have one of my most popular videos, or actually my the most popular video I have on there. You would think it would be one of my painting videos, because that's what I do normally is paint, and I teach painting classes and things like that, but my most popular video is a men's shirt apron video, how to make a men's shirt apron. So, um... I'm going to do a little variation on that today, and we're going to make a women's shirt apron. So I have this shirt. I got it at a thrift store. It's got some embroidery, some little bits of bling, some sequins on it, and I just thought it was cute, and um, because of the structure of it, I think it would make a perfect men's shirt apron, um, or lady shirt apron. Um, what you want to look for is a shirt that has, like, maybe a v-neck or in a collar, um, or just like a, a regular button-down shirt, um, will work fine. So what I'm going to do first is cut the sleeves off. This is always my first thing I do when I do these kind of projects is cut the sleeves off. And um, because this is usually, if it was a men's shirt apron, I would just cut right at the side seams. Because men's shirt, I mean, most of the time it's women that are wearing these men's shirt aprons. Um, but since this is a women's shirt and it's not a huge size, um, I think I want a little bit more on the back of it. So um, here's the side seam. So let's see, you can see it right here. Here's a side seam. I'm going to add, it actually has a little dart in the back, and I think that is perfect. I'm just going to cut um, right along that dart and make that how far back the shirt comes, and then I'm just going to cut straight over to where I cut off the sleeve. So, I'll show you from the front what it looks like. Okay. Let's see, I just have this extra portion right here. So that it'll wrap a little bit more around the back than... Um, than the last apron video I did. So let me do the same thing on this side. And since this this will be a little bit different than the other apron video I did because the other one um, we didn't hem the side seams because men's shirts are finished on the side seams with uh, French seams. This one has a sort of a French seam, um, but that's right on the side. On the, where the dart is, it doesn't have that. So we're not going to do that. We're going to have to make a hem this time. So now I'm going to... The best thing to do at this point is to put the shirt over your head and just see how far down it comes and where you want your tie backs to be and I'm thinking I want the tie back to be you don't want them too low because you want it to stretch across you um, but put it on around your your body and see how low you want those tie backs to be. And you don't want them you don't want the tie back to be too high or too low. So mine is 
right about there I'm going to cut above a half an inch above where I want the the tie back to come and um, now I'm going to just kind of cut around and this part of it is kind of the same way as the men's shirt apron. I'm actually going to have to cut across some of this lovely stitching and take some of it away but that's okay. We we'll still keep intact most of it. And so I let me fold out the collar. I'm going to leave a little bit extra around the collar so for hemming. So that's like a half an inch or so. And I just cut it around the collar like that. And now what I want to do so that they're even on both sides. I'm going to fold it over and match up the sides. I'm going to match them up at the side seams because I may not have cut to this edge perfectly and I know the side seams should be just about right. Okay, so fold that together and you can pin this to make it easier for you I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because it's not that serious. This isn't like serious sewing where everything has to be perfect. So now I just match up everything, I match up the collars, the fronts, everything like that and I'm just going to cut right along using that first side I cut as my template. Stick that a little bit. And there we go. So here is what we have. This is what we're left with. And there are a few little beads that are kind of falling to the ground now. But that's okay. And now I can take the back of the shirt and I can use this to make tie backs by, I'll just cut it right down the middle. And what I'm actually going to do is just rip, rip it. So before I rip it, I'm going to make two snips. So I folded it right in half, and then I want to make another cut that is wide enough to fold the tie back in half and sew it. Okay, so what I have now is these little cuts. And this one, I'm going to just rip it all the way up. And for my last one. And it rips all the way up to the placket at the top, or that yoke, whatever you want to call it, up at the top. And I'll cut these two tie back patterns off. Get rid of that. Okay, so these are going to be our tie backs. I'm just going to fold these in half and sew them. And I don't have to hem on both ends because this is the bottom edge of the shirt and it's already hemmed. So I'm just going to sew it a ha in half, turn it inside out, and that will be my tie back. So you can see how easy this project is. I mean, I'm almost done already. Now if you wanted to, you could sew something along the bottom, like a little ruffle, 
add a lace edge. I think this one's going to be cute, just like it is, because it's the shirt already has a lot of character. So I'm going to sew. I'm going to hem these edges by making a a rolled hem like this. I'm just going to fold it down once, fold it down again, and sew up the side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to fold it down once, fold it down again, and sew a hem, and go all the way around the neck, folding this down. I'll cut these tags off, folding this down until I come back and come down and sew this side. And so, and then I'll sew the tie backs on right there. That's where the tie backs are going to go. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine. You don't need to watch me sew. That's boring. Okay, so I have done all my hems. I made my hems around the sides and around the back of the collar and now all I have left to do, oh I want to tell you one tip that I think is very important because women are wearing these aprons. I always like to sew, stitch the button line so that when you're wearing the apron, it doesn't open at all, or if a button gets loose, it doesn't pop open and, you know, you mess up whatever you're wearing or whatever. It depends on what you're using your apron for. Um, but it's a good idea to do that. So um, now I'm going to show you what I like to do for the tie backs. And you can see it has a nice hem on this end. It's going to use the unhemmed end, and I'm going to fold it in about maybe a little, maybe three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to lay that folded side right here on top of this little corner. And that's where I want to pin it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a square around this and then an X in the center. That way it will really reinforce it and this tie back will never come off. So I'm going to go do that really quick and that is the last step of the apron. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it, the finished product. And you can see right here where I sewed these on, I did the square, put the X in the middle, it's very reinforced. This will never come off. will never unravel or anything. And uh, just a few tips. You can, depending on what the style of your shirt is and the color and whatever, you could, instead of just doing a rolled hem, you could maybe put, fold a ribbon over and sew it around the edge. Or you could add a trim along this edge or along the button line. Um, you could use a coordinating ribbon for the tie backs. Um, you know, it's up to you and, you know, get creative with it. So this is Cajun DIY Diva. And if you like this video, please like uh, my video. Give it a thumbs up and comment and tell me what you think. And please subscribe to my channel. And I will put a link below to the men's shirt apron video. So thanks for watching.